Mark, Swissquote had a record year in 2018. What do you attribute that success to? Oh, that's mainly growth. You know, we, this company is growing and growing year after year. And we also in 2018, we added 20,000 new clients, 3.1 billion new, new assets. And that then turned into more revenue. It's also down to technology. Swiss Dots, a trading platform that you integrated. Why has that been such a success? Well, we are a technology bank. So we are in this uh, uh, technology revolution uh, in, the, in the banking sector. And, and we try to exploit this in many different ways. So, so Swiss Dots is our own trading platform for leveraged products. And this is a real competition to the Swiss Stock Exchange. And it's working really, really, really well. You said it yourself. You're a technology bank. Uh, cryptocurrencies, you're a first mover there. How is that developing? Well, it was a very active start. Uh, it uh, they started with the business of cryptocurrencies in 2017, continued in 2019, and then volatility came down a little bit. So, so trading activity was was less active, I would say. Uh, but I think this, this this business will continue to grow, especially if you add new services. And indeed, you've just announced a new trading platform specifically for cryptocurrencies. Yes. Well, there, there was one link missing on the uh, on the on the platform. Just the fact of sending in your cryptos and sending them out. So that was a very important part that we couldn't offer until now the 21st when we will launch the new, the new platform. Shifting gear a little bit, last summer you did acquire uh, Internax, a, a Luxembourg bank. Mm -hmm. How has that gone so far, the integration process and what do you expect from it? Well, first of all, it took us very long actually to get the clearance from the uh, from the European Central Bank and the, the Luxembourg authorities. And, and by, by coincidence, actually, it happened yesterday. So yesterday we got the letter from the from the authorities say so you know you can now finally close the deal. So so of course we we already start to talk with the people in in uh, in, uh, in Luxembourg and we have a plan now to integrate the company. But but we had to go through this this very lengthy process of of, of getting the the clearance by the authorities. Now now it now we're there. So we will uh, now uh, very strongly integrate the company in our in our group. And you've just announced also a subsidiary in Singapore, and being a Swiss bank, that's, that's news. Um, what yes. are you expecting from that? Well, just looking at the, the, uh, the uh, assets, so the new assets we, we gained in 2018, and we, uh, you could see that a third of these assets are coming from the Asia-Pacific region. So, so, and Singapore being a very important hub in, in the region, we thought this is a good idea to, 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 uh, to open up a new office and to have a subsidiary. So it's a, it's a process, uh, a project that will start, that has already started in 2018, um, 2019, sorry, and we, we expect to have the, the, the license from the authorities by September, I would say. And of course, you've been in a very good position, a fortunate position, to be able to increase the dividend. Um, how has that been welcomed by investors? Well, I think this is uh, basically good news. No, it's, uh, I think it's the highest dividend we, we ever paid out. And uh, it's also just a, a very a strong uh, message uh, in, in, in our growth potential and uh, the fact that we believe that, this, that, that we will be able to, uh, to grow the business also in the future. You have been on a roll. It seems that uh, Swissquote is in a good, strong position, both here and now in Singapore going forward. Um, but what do you expect now from 2019 going forward? Uh, will that growth, nice growth, continue? Yeah, on the on the top line for sure. So we'll grow the company again uh, by five to ten percent on on the top line. Now, uh, 2019 will be a year where we have a little bit of investments. Well, you 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 mentioned Singapore that will cost us a few million, and then at the same time we have to integrate Internax. That's also um, uh, um, not uh, a cheap experience. Um, uh, so. All in, uh, we think that 2019 on the profit side will be a little bit lower than 2018. So growing steady, but with those investments as well. Yes. Thank you very much, Mark. Thank you.